It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's Schools where we test science IQs, play along and test your own today. Let's meet today's teams. First from Cesar Chavez, would you please say hello to Jasmine Queen, Astrid Mendoza, and Emily Carcamo. And from Rockledge, here they are, Crystal Aguta, Cynthia Rego, and Josue Ochaita. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easy questions, easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10, tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking, talented teams will come back to play Kenilworth for the chance to become the last of the final four in this year's elementary school competition. Started with 40 elementary schools, almost the final four at hand. Let's make sure everything works properly. Astrid, would you try your buzzer for me? It looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Emily and to Jasmine. Cynthia, would you try the green teams? It too looks like it's in good working order. Good luck to you, to Josue and to Crystal. Congratulations on making it this far in the competition. You guys are just terrific. We're going to have a good game. Nobody, nobody loses on this game, not at this point of the competition. So let's have a good time. We go alphabetically, C before R. So Astrid and Cesar Chavez, let's play the bowl. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points is a visual question to start our game. Could you look at the monitor, please? Teams, these red spots on these leaves are the result of a fungal disease that has what same name as the red spots that appear on a car bumper when oxidation takes place. Cesar Chavez. Rust. Rust, yes, that is a rust disease. Thank you, Emily, for your assist there. Go red. Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points is another visual question. Look back to the monitor if you would. Teams, this is called a Wiku bug, and it lives in Hawaii atop the snow-covered volcanoes. It can do that because in its blood is what same kind of substance you put into a car radiator so that it will work in the winter time. Cesar Chavez, what kind of chemical lets those bugs live in the snow? I shall pass it on to Jasmine. Jasmine. Cool it. Not a coolant, good try. Good try. Rockledge. Just nitrogen. An antifreeze. An antifreeze is what we were looking for there. Good try. Red team, go again. Astrid. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the inventor, Thomas Edison, said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% this, which is... Yes, Astrid. Creativity. Not creativity. Remember the category, body systems. Rockledge, Thomas Edison said genius is 1% inspiration and 99% this, which is a synonym for sweat. Perspiration. Perspiration. Inspiration, perspiration. More sweat than ideas. Good. Green, go. Cynthia, please choose. Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, if you're lucky enough to have someone send you flowers before you put them in the vase, cut the bottom of the stem off. That'll let the flower stay a lot longer because what X initial tubes will let the water then go up more easily into the flowers? 
X initialed Cynthia. Chromosome? It has to begin with the letter X. What X initialed tubes in the stem of the flower let the water go up to the flowers more easily. It's called xylem, X-L-Y-L-E-M. Try again, please, green. 65 to 60 advantage, Rockledge. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline signs for 10 points. Teams, a few months ago, we were told that there was no airborne virus danger with this disease in West Africa. Now we know that there is Cesar Chavez. Ebola? Yes, Ebola. They said it was just through bodily fluids, but now they think it can be transmitted through the air too, which is a whole different and more dangerous complication. Nice answer, go red. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, Kepler was the name of a famous astronomer. His most famous discovery was that planets orbit the sun not in circles, but rather in this shape. What is the shape of the orbits that planets occupy Astrid? Ovals. Give me another term, please. Judges, am I correct in pursuing this? Yes. Um, There's another term we need. Spheres? Not a sphere. Good try. Rockledge, you've had a chance to consider this. The shape of the orbits that planets take around the sun, they are not circular. They are in this shape. Elliptical? Yes, ma'am. Nice answer. Good comeback. Good. Green. Um, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, if you liquefy this gas to minus 372 degrees Fahrenheit, if you stick a banana inside, Nitro Rockledge. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. It will freeze instantly and shatter if you hit it with a hammer. Go. Green. Um, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points is a multiple choice question. Listen carefully. You all know what, what whipped cream is. The cream inside the can turns to whipped cream because there is a gas inside that is colorless and tasteless, and it is also known as laughing gas. Is it nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, or helium? Which of those three gases is the propellant inside a can of whipped cream astrid? Sulfur, sulfur dioxide? Not sulfur dioxide. Is it nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, or helium? This gas that is also known as laughing gas. Helium? It's the one neither of you chose. Nitrous oxide, N2O. Go again green. You have a 20-point lead, Cynthia. Ooh, hold that thought. The buzzer says our first round is over. Our score, Rockledge 90, Cesar Chavez 70. Good game. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. I wanted to start a business that I was passionate about, something I absolutely enjoyed and believed in. I was doing the corporate grinds, and I kind of wanted to do something a little more green. My name's Steve Allen. I run RadCab in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We do pedicabs and mobile outdoor advertising. I love being social, talking to people. A lot of confusing stuff when you start a business. When I go in and talk to my store mentor, he really helps me sort it all out, and we just get organized. And when I go home, I feel confident about what's going on. It really feels amazing to create jobs here in my city. It's incredibly awesome. I love to show it off. If you get a solid foundation for your business laid, everything else falls in place. SCORE has absolutely been the most invaluable resource that I've had from day one. For free? I could not imagine doing anything else. Get your free business mentor at score.org. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here today. What a good game. Six great players here, three of them here for the third time this year, and the other three, their first appearance. Let's meet the team from Cesar Chavez. Never has this school been so successful as this year. You guys have put in so much hard work. Congratulations, good to have you back. Tell us about Cesar Chavez Astrid. It's over there in um, the area by the mall at Prince George's, yes? Yes. Yeah, in the Hyattsville area, could yes. we characterize it as that? And it's a small school, but it's a good school. It's a Spanish immersion school, and uh, you're all wearing uh, the school colors here today, the purple, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and you look just great. 
Tell me about your school. Who's your principal? Mr. Tabuada. And he's just a great guy, and we've had a chance to interview him. We did a, a program on the Spanish Immersion uh, program you have over there. And the sponsor of your team? Mrs. Quinones and Mrs. Corals. Wonderful. And uh, they have done such a good job getting you ready, and I know the hard work they have put in. And they told me, too, that they want you to win, but more importantly, they want you to have fun. And that's the important thing here. Have a good time. You've already won because you're here today. Winning again is kind of icing on the cake. What do you like about Cesar Chavez? What are um, the things you like to brag about? I like the after school programs and how the teachers cooperate with the children. Mm. Uh, any after school programs that you participate in? Um, yes, I go to robotics and practice for science school. That's wonderful. Well, you did a nice job practicing because your team always does great here, Astrid. What do you want to do professionally someday? I want to be a lawyer. Yeah. And I asked her once before, do you like to argue? And she said, yes. And I said, do you win your arguments? And she said, yes, I do. So you're headed in the right direction. You're a good captain, too. Emily, nice to have you back. Young lady who likes to dance. Yeah? What kind of yep. dancing do you do? Well, I do like a variety of dances. Sometimes I do hip hop. Sometimes I do like ballet pieces. It really depends on, um, like, depends on the months or like um, what holidays we're getting ready for. Absolutely right. And dancing is a, a good creative expression, and it's good exercise, and uh, uh, it gets you involved. It's a socializing a uh, activity. What do you want to do someday professionally? Well, um, I would like to be a writer or an artist. Writer, because I know you like to draw, and uh, and you like to write as well. And uh, a lot of you like to read here today. I know Astra told me that she likes to read, and then she likes to read. And it's just the, that's her devotion to books, and she's not alone in that. And uh, Jasmine, nice to have you with us today. What do you want to do someday? I would like to be a performer. A performer. What would you perform? Do you want to be an actress? Yes. An actress, yeah. Uh, and I remember asking you this before, if you want to do comedy or drama or both. Both. Both, yes. Yeah. So you want to be, you want to have a lot of directors always thinking about Jasmine Queen. You know, we could use her in that remake of, uh, of this movie coming up, right? Uh, do you perform now? I'm in the dance group with Emily. With Emily, yeah. Well, that's great. Are you girls friends off camera, too? Yes. I can tell, yeah. And boy, that's a, a big reason for your success because you're kind of finishing each other's sentences here and you're, you're supporting each other, and that's how it works. Good to have you all back. You look great. Rockledge, nice to have you for the first time. And uh, look at them, all responsible young people wearing their safety patrol sashes over there and they're matching Rockledge Elementary Science Bowl shirts and the mascot there is the Roadrunner, right? Yes. Yeah, hard to catch, hard to catch. Rockledge is over there in Bowie, longtime competitor on Science Bowl. We're in our 29th year. I think you've been here just about every single year. Cynthia, tell me who your principal is. Miss Seidel. Miss Seidel, that's right. And boy, uh, we've been over there, and she is a ball of energy. She <laughs> is always running those hallways. She really loves her job. And who's the sponsor of your team? Miss Stimson. Miss Stimson, and she will be out in a few moments. She has really worked hard to get the students ready for today. Did you have any alternates on your team? Yes, we have one alternate, Ishmael. Ishmael. And we have alternates, too, on the Cesar Chavez team that we will bring out at the end. I didn't mean to overlook that when I was with the Chavez team over there. Cynthia, tell me something great about Rockledge. I really like the teachers because they, they teach uh, so you can understand what you're learning and they can work with you to your liking. Yeah, yeah. Understanding is important. Anybody can teach, but if nobody understands, it doesn't make for much, does it? You know, so you've got to gauge understanding as you go along. Thank you for sharing that. That's very important. What do you want to do someday, Cynthia? I want to be a teacher. Yeah, boy, I love to hear that because uh, teaching is hard work, and it's long hours, and it's 24-7 if you're doing it right. And you would like to treat, uh, teach uh, the younger children, you told me mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. yeah. And, boy, that's, that's total immersion. <laughs> yeah, you've got the same children all day long. And, I can see you being a teacher. You've got a nice, calm manner about you. You're a good captain. And Crystal, nice to have you with us today. Tell us the Crystal story. You want to go to Yale. Yes. How'd you pick that? Well, I th it was just one of the best colleges to go to. Absolutely. Always aim high, mm -hmm. you know? And the worst that can happen is they can say no. But a lot of times people say yes, mm -hmm. you know? And if you hadn't asked, it wouldn't have happened. When you get there, what do you want to do? What do you want to study? I want to study, um, well, medicine. Yeah, maybe a doctor someday. Yes. And I know you like to bake and cook, and you make lots of cookies. And even though she didn't bring any today, uh, we still like her, and she's a great young lady. Thanks for being here today. And Josue, another young man, another contestant today who loves to read, huh? And you love mythology, you told me. Yep. And you hate to put books down. 
Yeah, whenever I'm reading a book, I don't like to be disturbed until I've gone very far into the book or at least finished it because I'm a fast reader. I eat up the books everywhere. Wow, you're just music to the ear of teachers and parents everywhere because, you know, if you're reading, you're just, you're setting yourself up for whatever you want to do in life because you have to be literate and uh, if you're a good reader, a lot of times you're a good writer too and you can express yourself well. Um, what do you want to do professionally? Um, when I grow up, I think I want to be an inventor. Yeah, and you want to go to Stanford. Yeah. All right, so Crystal's going to be over there at Yale on the uh, East Coast and you're going to be at Stanford on the West Coast. And uh, uh, before we get back to the game, just tell me, is there something you're thinking about that hasn't been invented that you might want to bring forth? Um, it's kind of um, like, it's, it's kind of, um, kind of invented, but kind of not. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I want to invent something that's kind of like the jet pack, uh -huh. except that, um, since it has like jet, and since it has like pack in it, mm -hmm. I was thinking if like, the jet and um I think I could like make an improved version of the jetpack that you could actually um put stuff in it. Okay, okay. So Don't give away too many details because <laughs> someone will steal your idea, host way. So yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm always worried about. That's right. So that's why he was a little cagey over there. You're playing a nice game. Let's get back to it. Rock Ledge 90, Caesar Chavez 70. Lots of points to give away. Cynthia, start us out. Zoo prayed for ten. Zoo prayed for ten points. Teams Fish eggs are called roe, but the baby fish that hatch from the roe have what same name as the verb that describes how you can cook the fish before you eat it. Astrid. Fry? Fry, that's right. Baby fish are fry. Fish fry. Good answer. Thank you, Emily and Jasmine, for helping her out. Go, Astrid. Dateline science for 15. Dateline science for 15 points. Teams, the New Horizons spacecraft recently photographed Nix and Hydra, two of the five moons orbiting what dwarf planet? Caesar Chavez. Pluto. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Go. Red. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. A seed has three parts. The coat the embryo on the inside, and which of the following three makes up the food source? Is it the glycogen, the protoplasm, or the endosperm? Which of those three parts are the food in the seed? Astrid. The endosperm. Indeed, it is the endosperm. Nicely done, go rid. Zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. Teams, if you're a real Marylander, you will know this answer. To tell the difference between a male crab and a female crab, flip them over. The male abdomen has a structure that looks just like the Washington Monument. On the abdomen of the female, there's a structure that looks exactly like this famous Washington landmark. Cesar Chavez, you know you got a female crab if you see what on the bottom? The needle. Needle. No, no, I already said the Washington Monument for the male crab. On the female crab, you see what other famous Washington landmark? The Capitol Building? Capitol Building, the Capitol Dome, absolutely right. If you, if you sit there and break open the crabs, you know that shape. Good, go green. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, you know the utility companies are worried because Tesla the company that makes cars is also making these that we could put in our homes that would run everything forever. You wouldn't need electricity or gas because these things are like giant dry cells that we put in things. They're making these giant what, Cynthia? Solar panels? Not solar panels, no. They're like giant dry cells that you would put in your house. It's a giant form of a what that would take the place of electricity and gas. I'll pass it on to Jasmine. Jasmine. A generator. Close. A battery. They're giving giant, they're designing giant batteries for homes. Nice try. Go green. 110 to 115. Almost a tie score. You're five points behind, Cynthia. Where? Science, science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, doctors have discovered a hormone that in your body keeps what other hormone from always being produced in the pancreas to help to break down the sugar that we eat. 
what is the name of that hormone that helps with our sugar metabolism that this other one slows down? Cesar Chavez? Mitochondria? Not mitochondria, good try. The name the hormone produced by the pancreas that helps us to metabolize sugar. Now we know that there's another one that slows it down. Insulin. Insulin. We've seen all kinds of ads for diabetes lately. Go green. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if a person in a hospital is hyperventilating, they're trying to blow out excess what gas as their body becomes more acidic. They're trying to get rid of what gas, Rockledge? Carbon dioxide. Yes, ma'am. Good. Thank you, Crystal, for your assist. Go green. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, let me do a, a score update. 115 for Chavez, 120 for Rockledge. The category is body system, did you say? 20. 20 points. Question is as follows. Your knee joint is actually three bones. It's the patella, the kneecap, the femur, and this T initial bone. Tibia. Cesar Chavez. Tibia. Yes, ma'am. Tibia in the lower leg. Thank you, Emily. Go red. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, this sounds strange, but it is true. Skiers, to keep their feet warm, are, before they're putting on their socks, taking old potato chip bags and putting their feet inside because they are lined with mylar, which is a very good what? Cesar Chavez. Insulator. Yes, ma'am. Insulator indeed to keep those feet warm. I guess they kind of wash it out first, otherwise it would be kind of smelly and sticky. Good. Go red. Zooprade for five. Zooprade for five points. Teams, a fish out of water doesn't survive. But one of these peripherins, according to a recent movie, will, even though he normally lives in a pineapple under the sea. Cesar Chavez. Sponge. A sponge, absolutely right. Sponge out of water is the new movie. Crystal uh, and guys, pay attention to the question. Don't be talking to each other when I'm asking the question. Go red. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, despite its name, there are no ripened ovaries of seed plants in this cereal that is promoted by Toucan Sam. Cesar Chavez. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. There is no fruit in Fruit Loops. Good. Red. Dateline Science for 20. Dateline Science for 20 points. Teams, back in 1624, Anton von Leeuwenhoek was the first man to pick up a lens took a sample of water from a lake, and whoa, look at all the things living in there. As a consequence, he is known as the father of a branch of science that is identified with what instrument that is used to look at things that are small. Cesar Chavez. Microscope. Yes, he's the father of microscopy. Good, go, red. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25, big one in that category is as follows, Charles Darwin who studied evolution, went to the Galapagos Islands, and he saw birds everywhere. He thought that they were wrens and blackbirds and robins, when in fact they were all the same kind of bird with different sized beaks. What kinds of birds were they? Charles Darwin famously studied what birds? For 25 points, you need this, Rockless, to get back in the game. Name them. A pelican? Ooh, not a pelican. What kind of birds did? Darwin study that all had different sized beaks. Um, uh, they were finches. Darwin's finches. Go again, red. Uh, yes, ma'am. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. The big one in that category, teams, a lot of the sports drinks that people drink today, they've been fortified with vitamins and minerals. They also have in them to fight the free radicals that we know can damage our body cells. Lots and lots of anti-whats. Anti-whats in those sports drinks, Cynthia. Oxidant? Yes, ma'am. Good answer. Good. Green. Go. Um, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points, teams, across the street from where we are right now at the old Landover Mall. Nature is coming back and taking over. It's called succession. Eventually there will be trees there, but right now it's covered with weeds. Those weeds are known as these kinds of species, the same name as the people in our country early on who went in stagecoaches out west 
and they were all making their own way for the first time. Those were known as the what? Pioneers. Yes, the pioneers. Good. Green, go. Um, Dateline signs for 25. Dateline signs for 25 points, teams. We thought this was long ago settled, but now some people in Oregon are demonstrating against the city because they are adding what chemical to the water supply to keep Cesar Chavez. Fluoride. Fluoride, absolutely right. We know it hardens enamel. We know it fights tooth decay, but some people are against it. Nice answer, Astrid, go red. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Tough question, listen, teams. The Conan O'Brien Show. There is a moon hanging on his set. But a scientist said that moon is the wrong shape because the faces of the moon, the first and the last quarter phase of the moon, are also known as what C initial shape of that moon. Cynthia. Crescent? Yes, a crescent moon. Good. And they have fixed it, by the way. Go green. <laughs> um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points, teams. Quick score update. 210 Chavez, 195 Rockledge. Body systems for 25 points, teams. Listen carefully, listen carefully. Doctors have recently found a super bug that is resistant to antibiotics. They found it on the end of a scope that they put into the body to examine the duodenum. The duodenum being part of what most important digestive organ? Cesar Chavez, 25 points. Most important digestive organ? Kidney? Nope. Rock Ledge, most important digestive organ. The duodenum is a part of it. Your pancreas? The small intestine was the right answer. Oh, the buzzer has rung, and it looks like by a whisker, Cesar Chavez has done it. We will be right back. Don't go away. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares, and you have all the questions, and even little kids make you nervous just staring at you. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. You're his mom. You're supposed to be the one taking care of him and raising him. But when you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. When I found out I was pregnant, I don't know, just a light hit me in my heart just saying adoption, what you need to do. I really have a simple dream. I just want to get my nursing career, get married, and have a family. When I get pregnant again, give them a better life. I'm Miranda, and I chose adoption. Welcome back. Boy, what a good game here. It went back and forth. And as I was saying, those tough questions, they were knocking them out of the park. Even the judges said what a terrific game it was. And it was. Our final tally today, there are no losers today. Rockledge 195, Seizure Chavez 210. Congratulations, Jasmine, Astrid, Emily, Christine, Miss Quinones, Miss Quarles. Congratulations. We will see you against Kenilworth for the chance to go to the finals this year. Rockledge, give me some nice big smiles over there. My readers, my cooks over over there and uh, Cynthia did a great job here today. Ishmael, wave to everybody. Another wonderful part of this team. Let's give Rockledge a nice hand today. Great job. Miss Stimson, thank you for all you did to get this team ready. I know Rockledge is going to be back and we want to see you next time on another edition of Science Fall. Bye bye now.